Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Shalom. First and foremost, before we start, I want to give our honor and glory and praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Rakakwadash. My name is Tazim Akamaf. Come from the camp of Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teaches us truth and we will. Peace and salutation to the whole for elect that sky abroad that's serving the Lord in truth and in, and in sincerity. All right, man. Hey, man. It's another beautiful Saturday, man, to serve and um, preach the word, man, of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, man, to make our bodies as a living sacrifice. You know, as Romans 12 and 2 tells you, hey, man, hey, we're blessed to be called into this truth. But even more, man, that the Lord showed us mercy to wake us to wake us back up to our nationality, our true heritage, our true language, man. So we just want to go into it, man. The Lord was lessons edifying to Israel, man. That's the lost sheep of the house of Israel out, out there, man. Because this is only for the elect. All right, I'm gonna start. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. Okay. It says, And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. Right. Hey, so, hey, we, hey, we're a wicked, hey, Israel is a wicked people, man. You know, we, we always disobey the Lord, and, you know, we always go off, man. And the reason why we, the reason why we suffer is because of our sins. And the scripture tells us that, man, because we were always serving false idols, you know, doing uh, abominable acts, things the Lord told us not to do, man. All right? Hey, but we discontinued from our heritage, man, to serve our enemies, man. Because every time we was in captivity, Jake always tried to find a way, you know, to serve the, the enemy's fucking idols, their gods, their philosophy, man. Okay, building, you know, statues and doing their customs. So go ahead and read that again. Jeremiah 17 and 4. All right. And now even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage. That I gave thee, right. and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land of which thou knowest not. Okay, which is which is where it's America, man. And who who runs this country? Esau, Edom, man. So ain't we over here serving our enemies, where the land we know not, man. All right, we were brought from one land to another, oh, way across the other side of the world, man. And we serving our enemies, man. That's why Jake, man, they're so big on what Esau do and what he brings and shit like that. Hey, our people are sottish. Our people are stupid. They're very ignorant. They don't know what's going on. And they don't look. They don't look twice to look for Yahweh by Shemiel Shai. They'd rather serve, you know, what Esau brings. Their, their philosophy. All right. Go ahead. Read, read that last part again. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. Every time you bring out the truth to Jake, 
I don't know what book you're reading. They always tell you that, man. No, man, we're reading the same book. They teach your ass in church. They just don't tell you the truth. All right, but the Lord has revealed the, the truth to us, man. All right, when when we heard this truth, man, we, we held on to it. Okay, but Jake, man, there's a very stiff neck. All right, go ahead. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Right, in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. All right, hey, um, Abba Bivens, when he came out on the scene, you know, hey, that's when we started to remember ourselves, man. Hey, which is John the Baptist, which is Elijah. All right, that's prophecy that Elijah will come back in the last days, man. All right, which is John the Baptist, and which is Abba Bivens, man. So, Barack and Daddy, how about Shemel Shah to our elders? All right, Barack and Daddy, how about Shemel Shah for our elders that he has set up for us, man, to get this truth? And Lord will, we're part of that whole for let. All right, go ahead. Verse 31. You should know that I am the Lord, Yahweh, mm -hmm. their power, for I will give them a heart and ears to hear. Right. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. All right, but you hear that last part, think upon his name, right? The Lord has one specific name, man. The Lord said, I'm going to give you a heart and ears for you know for you to hear which is your mind your spiritual mind and ears man the lord's gonna wake you up it's gonna ring that bell in your in your spirit that you're gonna remember my name man because everything we everything we doing now we once did it before man so the lord is waking us up in our land of our captivity to serve him again man all right which is mercy all right was that on what that did uh verse 33 and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds mm -hmm. for they shall remember the way of their fathers was sent before the Lord alright which we are our forefathers alright but hey we repented we repented for our sins for the things we have done alright so we're coming back to Yahweh Basham Yahshai rehearsing the righteous acts as the Judges 5 and 11 tells you all right, in the land of our captivity. All right, we rehearse the righteous acts because we're not going to be perfect here. All right, we're under our oppression, which is the basis men. All right, was that it on that? Go ahead. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 10, and verse 20. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel, and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob, should no more again stay upon him that smote them, mm -hmm. but shall stay upon the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. Uh, hey, read that, that first part again. And it shall come to pass in that day. In that day. So this is uh, this is prophecy. In that day. Go ahead. That the remnant of Israel, and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob. Right, the remnant of Israel. Which is, hey, the Lord is coming for a remnant, not the whole nation. So the elect. All right, go ahead. Should no more again stay upon him that smote them. Right, so no longer stay upon him that smote them. All right, which is our, you know, our captors, man. All these heathens, they're on top of us right now. All right, we we are but worms. All right, we have to rely on the Alabash and Alshad, man. All right, they got they got the head, they got everything they got now, man. They're prospering off of us, okay. They're prospering off of, uh, um, off of us, man. But soon we don't gotta stay upon them that smote them, man. Hey, when this shit crashed, this shit hit the fan, you know, and all hell break loose. Hey, man, we gotta, we don't have to rely on this devil no more. We don't gotta stay upon this devil, man. We gonna be like, fuck you, man. We gonna rely on you. How about Shemuel Shah? You know, but that's that's faith. That we finally get to to serve and um, rely on our true power, man. Actually, get to show you how about Shemuel Shah? How much we have faith in him? How much we believe, man? Because we don't gotta stay upon our enemies. You know, the scripture said we gotta go to our enemy for the one of all things. Man, fuck that, man. We are gonna be relying on you. How about Shemuel Shah? 
because he can do the impossible, man. This devil can't do shit, man. All right, he's everything he has, he's, he's stolen. All right, he he modifies it, and the Lord's gonna give us things that are true, that's perfect, and and all the time in this right time in this new season. All right, go ahead. We should stay upon the Lord, you know, by the Shimei Shad, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. Right, man, in truth, man, we're gonna stay upon the Lord in truth, the Holy One of Israel, man, because the Lord is only for the nation of Israel, where His chosen people. All right. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 9. For then will I turn to the people a pure language. A pure language. So that Hebrew, man, you know, we, some brothers get it perfect, some brothers don't. Hey, but the Lord is slowly returning us to our pure, our pure language. Saying the name, Yahweh Bashim Shah is Hebrew, okay? Barak the Yahweh Bashim Shah, which means, bless you, you know, the Heavenly Father and the Son, man. All right, we speak Hebrew, man. And the Lord is return, returning to us our pure language, which the language uh, the language of the Paleo ancient Hebrew is the most powerfulest language on this in this universe, man. Because it was the first language. All right, you know you speak that Hebrew is gonna is gonna um how they say in the prologue of uh, Sirach, the first chapter says is uh it pierces through the skies. There you go. It pierces through the skies, man. It goes straight to the straight to the throne when you speak that Hebrew. All right. All right. Zephaniah three nine. For then I turn to the people in pure language, that they may all call upon the name of the Lord Yahweh or Hashem Yahweh to serve Him with one consent. Right, man. Hey, man. We're gonna turn back and serve the Yahweh Hashem Yahweh man. And that's a beautiful thing, bro. We're a part of something that's beyond our, our imagination, something that's beyond our power. But hey, it's a blessing just to be here, a blessing just to still have the names, you know, to have the Rakak Wadash, and that it never leaves us, man. Because without the Holy Spirit, man, we'd be through. All right? You got another precept? Book of Ezekiel, chapter 37. You want to start verse 4? Yeah, you can start verse 4. Ezekiel 37, verse 4. Again, he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and he said unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the words of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, to these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. Right, so, hey, we were those, hey, before we entered this truth, we were dry bones, all right? Now we're just speaking about how Israel's gonna wake up again, man, and serve their power. Our right, war we first dry bones before this truth. But once we heard it and the Lord, you know, put his spirit upon us, we became living. We came alive, man. That quickening spirit to be quickened is to be made alive, man. So the Lord have has uh, woke us up, man, by the way of his, you know, his messengers, man. And we made our spirit bear witness to that truth. And we're like, man, this is the right path. This is the way the Lord is trying to show me, man. Because before, all Israel, before this truth, were dry bones. All right? Now we, we want to wake up and be made alive. All right? There's more than that. Shalom.